Okay, guys, so uh, we finally got our first trailer for Terminator Dark Fate, the new trailer, the, excuse me, new mu movie that uh, is going to be produced by James Cameron and directed by Tim Miller and will hopefully pull us out of the garbage that we've been kind of seeing. Hashtag fuck you, Genesis. <laughs> um, yeah, it's suffice it to say that the Terminator films have been kind of on a steady slope of garbage, um, and Genesis was the bottom of the barrel. Although I will admit, looking back on it now, Terminator 3 is not as bad as I thought it was. I mean, it's not still not good. Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines, still not a good movie, and it's a tough act to follow from Judgment Day. But, on the other hand, it's still not as bad as I remembered it. Like, I sat down, I was like, well, I'd actually take this over this and Salvation. I'd take that over Genesis and Salvation. In that context, yes, it's better. Anywho, um, so Terminator Dark Fate, which, by the way, Dark, th why does this have the weirdest fanfiction fucking, uh, like, this has a fanfiction fucking name to the most extreme, like, seriously, this name just screams like this was meant to be a fanfiction on, uh, James Cameron's, uh, board, and he was just like, mmm, my fanfiction is finally done, I'll give it to Tim Miller, the director of Deadpool. Can we just say that this is a weird combination, by the way? Tim Miller, the guy who directed Deadpool's work with James Cameron. And I liked uh, the first Deadpool movie. Um, but, yeah, it's just kind of a weird combination. I mean, Tim Miller's definitely going to give us a, some great action scenes. And from the trailer, we did see some, some really neat action shots here and there. So, I'm wondering... Um, I'm wondering how that's going to play out, because Cameron is supposedly going to be very in tune with this film. Um, he's going to be very much, uh, not so much executive producing, but more like he is producing producing, so he's going to have a lot of say in how this movie is done. Um, which makes me one makes me afraid, because Tim Miller, um, from reports, has said that he, you know... Uh, Miller does not like to be, you know, bullied by production groups, so I can only hope that this isn't like a Hellboy situation. And look, I know I'm, I sound like I'm shitting on this thing, and we're not even, uh, you know, into the trailer thoughts itself. I'm just saying, like, I just, there's some, there's a lot of fear going into this film. There's a lot of trepidation going into this film, because there's a lot going against it. So, but let's get into it, shall we? So the trailer is focusing on this woman protected by a new uh, by a new Terminator who's being hunted by another new Terminator, and this new Terminator is played by Die uh, by Diego Luna, who most of you guys would know best as Robbie Reyes, Ghost Rider from the Agents of Shield TV show. And yeah, his Terminator straight up robot noob cybot. It's totally noob cybot. Um, um, an emphasis on bot. <laughs> See what I did there? But yeah, it's. It's straight up like a noob cybot um, type being in that in, uh, that it can create a clone like a shadow cl uh, like a nanobot shadow clone of itself and keep attacking. So I'm like, oh, that's neat. I mean, it's very reminiscent of uh, it's almost very reminiscent of the TX from Terminator Three, and the the female Terminator who they said a model, but uh, in a in an interview, but I just can't remember the name. But that Terminator reminds me very much of Sam Worthington's humanoid Terminator. Um, from uh, Salvation, and we all know how Salvation was and Sam Worthington is as an actor, but this woman is not Sam Worthington. I'm just having flashbacks to Salvation, is all I'm saying. So I was like, please, you know, all right. So Sarah Connor is protect helping to protect this woman, and we're still wondering, where's John? You know, that's a big question is, where is John in all of this? Where can John be in the midst of all of this chaos? And yeah, it makes me wonder of what happened to John Connor, but at the same time, I don't want them to spoil it in the trailer. I don't want them to spoiler, spo yeah, spoil John. what happened to John Connor in the trailers. I want to know in the fucking movie, okay? I know a lot of people are going to be like, where's John? Where's John? Why can't we have a trailer explaining what happened to John Connor? And then they'll be like, oh, you spoiled too much for the trailer. Oh, no. Even though I fucking, I'm fucking, i a fucking idiot and had to know before the movie because I have to fucking know everything. And then I bitch and moan about it anyway. You see how much I hate people, folks? I hate them a lot. I really do. Um, 
<laughs> but you guys are cool. Just saying. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, that's the thing is that I want that, you know, because I'm afraid, and I know what I, you're thinking, DPZ, why are you so upset at the idea of them spoiling um, or giving, uh, like, telling us what happened to John Connor um, in this movie? Why are you so afraid of that? Because I know trailers. And I, and I know um, they're not going to be like Sony about it. They're not going to be in any way, shape, or form like Sony. But at the same time, you know, sometimes they give away too much in trailers. And yeah, I just have this fear that, you know, come like a Comic-Con trailer or something to that nature, we're going to, it's going to reveal a bit too much. So just keep it vague. I wouldn't mind another trailer. Um... But don't, like, go too deep into details, you know, is all I'm asking. We need some mystery in trailers, you know. We need some, some real mystery in trailers these days. Uh, anyway, so I do like, the, I, like I said, Tim Miller is definitely going to bring some great, some great action scenes, which is no different, because that final scene of the fight between the two new Terminators looks really cool. We also have Arnold back, um, although it's interesting that he's a T-800 again, but he's like living like old old man uh, old man Terminator, all right, okay. Uh, curious to see how that's all gonna play out. And I like that. I like having some mystery. Like, where's John? What's um, Arnold doing? Is he you know? Because I heard also somewhere that it, he may not play a Terminator, but play the guy the T eight hundreds are modeled after. So that might be interesting. Um, so yeah. You know, not a bad trailer. It was definitely worth the wait. I will say that this trailer was definitely worth the wait for. So I'm very excited for that. Um, but at the same time, I'm, like, really worried because we haven't had the best track record for Terminator sequels. But this is going to disregard everything up till 2. So, yeah. Forget Salvation. Forget Genesis. Um, and Rise of the Machines. Forget, the, you know... Just focus on Terminator 1 and 2, and stick with Dark, you know, then just skip to Dark Fate. Alright. Anyway, so you guys here at Comic Universe, you guys tell us, what did you guys think of the first trailer for Terminator Dark Fate? Did you guys like it, hate it? What are your theories on where is John Connor and this woman's connection to Sarah, uh, as well as the new Terminators? What do you think their roles are going to be, as well as Schwarzenegger's role? And if you're new here, remember to hit that subscribe button and be a part of Earth's Mind Subscribers. I'm DPZ, and on behalf of everyone here, we will see you right here once more in the universe.